uh, well, the journals, the, the associate editor finds out about a paper when the reviews come in, and um, uh, so I, I alerted to... Uh, so, so do you select reviewers? No, I don't. Um, so I, I, I don't select reviewers. I am um, made aware of a paper incoming, and then... Um, Received the reviews a week or two later, and uh, that's the, when the fun starts. Um, uh, always, I think I, it's important to read the paper first. I like to come to the reviews with my uh, understanding of the paper uh, up front, and um, typically it's a matter of reading the reviews and then probably letting it stew for a few days and trying to reconcile any any anomalies between the reviews, reread them maybe where people have. Um, Express things in different ways, and uh, and then um, oh, it's quite a difficult thing. I think you've got to hold um, a paper and three, two or three reviews in your head at once. Uh, so uh, particularly if it's a re re revision, there's, there's even more synthesising to do. Um, but it's an interesting puzzle to solve. Um, I typically uh, work through systematically in sequence initially, and then try and take a, a global view of the paper uh, once once I've sort of looked at the the moving parts. Okay, good, thanks. So, so kind of building on that, one of the things that's really important to us is developmental editing, and, mm. and we're hoping you could say a few words yeah. about that, um, both from your perspective, <laughs> yeah. but also about how you assess reviewers and what you look for in, in their comments as, as a sign of being developed. Yeah, and in a sense, I think it starts from the, the feeling that we're all in this together. We're all authors. We're, we, as authors, we don't want um, critical, unhelpful, destructive reviews. So I think mainly it's about putting myself in the position of the author and trying to see what will be useful for them and for the, for the paper if there's a germ of something good in it. Um, so uh, I look for uh, reviewers that I think it needs to go beyond an initial superficial comment about enjoying reading the paper and then moving into destruction mode. Uh, <laughs> it needs to be genuinely developmental and looking for the good and pointing out the weaknesses and suggesting ways to improve those uh, shortcomings. Um, uh, and I think pe people, people do that if, if you give them a chance. Okay, good. Uh, but what's the best advice you have for uh, potential authors? Be open and true to yourself and what you do and do it well. Um, I think uh, and we've, we've had these discussions in other forums haven't we, about the standard methodology section which perhaps doesn't reveal very much actually about what actually happened. So um, don't be afraid of, of saying what happened, what you did, why and um, uh, adopt uh, the, the right voice for the paper. So try and be individual and uh, true to your own style um, as far as academic style allows you to. Okay, good. Are there, are there certain um, issues that you've observed in papers that uh, don't make it through the process that, that should be avoided? Um, perhaps a thought that comes to mind now is um, in the developmental process I think the recurring theme for me is that papers, and I often review case study papers, is that cases turn out to be cases of something other than what the authors <laughs> frame them as. Um, and I, typically I like to look for a bigger story in a paper. So it might be that the author starts out with an idea that this is a case in a particular sector about a particular rather narrow issue. But I like to try and expand it out to answer a, a bigger question and see this case as a case of something more general and interesting and powerful. Um, in terms of those that don't make it, I think it's often um, just insufficient data, just not enough to be persuasive, not enough to be convincing, um, and um, too often a, yeah, a, 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 re, a retelling of a story we've heard before. Um, to, to contribute and to learn, I think, um, learn by just reading about new things that probably younger people are doing. <laughs> tuned into the, the, the world that we live in now. Um, but also I think in, in, in thinking about other reviewers' reviews and in thinking about the paper, uh, it makes me reflect on my own methods and interests and theoretical positions. So it's about le my learning as well. So, so I think there's something in it for, for everyone. I think um, it, it's just to be commended that, and I think it's happening in other journals, the, the emphasis on developmental reviewing and, uh, yeah. 
recruitment field. I think I'm pleased to see it's not trench warfare between journals and between uh, between uh, factions.